Hey, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of this Power Design 2020B. It's a power supply design back in 1978. And this model uses, the, the B model uses a LM399 voltage reference, so it's extremely stable. And the voltage is set by these uh, decade dials. Uh, volts, 100, nano, uh, 100 mill, millivolts, 10 millivolts, 1 millivolt, and then a little vernier down here for 0 to 1 millivolt. Uh, current limit, pulled out to set, uh, in, uh, adjustable uh, from uh, 0 milliamps up to 2 amps. So we have a switch here for a 0 to 10 volt range and then 10 to 20 volt range. So turn it on here. First we have it set to 0 volts and uh, Vernier zeroed out. And I have uh, calibrated the zero of the supply to where you can see on the 34465 um, minus was at seven uh, microvolts. So pretty much zero. Um, and then we can adjust in this knob right here is one millivolt range. So there's real close to one millivolt, 0.99. And then two millivolts, three, four. You'll see it tracks quite well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then actually goes to ten. Turn that back down to zero. Then see how it tracks one volt. So it's uh, 100 microvolts high for one volt. It's pretty darn close. Two volts. Three, four, five. I had to go in and adjust or make some fine, uh, do some fine tuning on some of the resistors. They had drift a little bit. So I found, um, most of the precision wire around resistors in it, the drift, it drifts a little high. So using some high value uh, resistors I had, I was able to put them in parallel across the uh, 200 ohm and, and 2K ohm resistors used on the uh, decades and bring them back down to almost exactly uh, where they should be. Uh, so everything tracks and it sets well within spec. Spec is 1% uh, or 0.1 percent. So um, at 10 volts, let's adjust it at 10 volts. 9.9, .9, Adjust this one up to 10. We're at 9.99952. That's pretty darn close. Um, so the set calibration is spec at 0.1%. Uh, uh, so that would be 1%, 0.1%, 0.01%. So, um, sorry, that's, that'd be 10. That'd be 10, 9, 1%, 0.1%, 0.01%, 0.00%. .00 Four is where it's at right now, 0.004%. Eh, not too bad. And then, of course, we have the vernier down here. We can bring it up a little bit. I think it would have been nicer if it had a detent in the center, and then you could increase, basically center it at zero, and then down one millivolt or up one millivolt. I think that would have been a little nicer but, oh well. And of course we have the current, so it moves over to amps. Pull this out, basically shorts out internally. When it does go into overload or go current limit mode, the, the lights flash and you can adjust the current from 2.1 amps is max. That's where the manual tells you to calibrate the max current down to zero. And then we have the switch here, which adds another 10 kilo ohm resistor in line and gives us 
for our uh, 1000 ohms per volt programmability. Um, another 10K adds 10 volts. So now we're at 19.9992. Um, we can also just back this all the way off to zero on the four dials and it'll give us 10 volts. Nine dot nine nine nine. Pretty close. Regulation is extremely good. I have a little oven down here, ten megahertz oven. We'll plug in and see how much current it draws and see what it does. This is a twelve volt oven, so I'll adjust this to twelve volts. Now we're at eleven dot nine 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 eight. Let's pull that out. Okay, plug in the turn up the current limiting. Plug in the oven. It's drawing, looks like eight tenths of an amp, 0.8 amp. And looks like the voltage dropped, which is mostly gonna be due to where the sense wire is in the back of the banana plugs. And the resistance between the sense and the current drawing out, um, uh, just the resistance of the, the banana the plug itself. Um, we have uh, 19 microvolts. Uh, voltage drop so otherwise it's uh, rock solid um, so there you go uh, this one obviously I cleaned it up a little bit polished it up uh, painted the uh, the case so it's a nice case um, the capacitors I tested were like brand new um, with my ESR meter and I've I've looked at this on my scope can't detect any ripple it's one of the cleanest power supplies I've ever tried to measure. I can't detect any ripple at all. I'm sure it's there, but it's, it's almost non-existent. Nice little power supply.